So I just wanted to ask first, um, why did you want to make something surrounding this subject matter and how did this idea come to you? Uh, well, you know, I've always been extremely um, passionate about human rights and, and more specifically women's rights and, um, you know, reading up on the subject and just like the whole struggle in the 1960s and 70s. A couple of years ago, I was just... Um, I was putting a lot of time into, I was just like fascinated about just like how strong women are and just that, you know, that everything that we've been through and, and just watching documentaries and, and reading up on, you know, abortion rights. And I came across a couple documentaries that were really interesting. One was called Vessel, which talks about Rebecca Gompertz, who's a, a Dutch physician who is a real leader uh, when it comes to um, helping women access safe abortions, have access to safe abortions. And another film called Reversing Roe, which actually talked about the, you know, the very conservative agenda to reverse Roe v. Wade. So, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, and that's, I was, I was reading up on it and watching that documentary going, could we actually go back to that time? And the more I was researching it, the more I was like, this, this could actually happen within the next couple of years. So what is happening right now is something that I, I was really terrified of, I have to say. Um, and, and it's happening. So I just, I wanted to make a film because I feel like abortion stories are, it's for me, it's not a philosophical question. It's like these, these bans, these restrictions really impact actual people, actual women. So, um, so that's, you know, that's what I do. I'm, I'm a filmmaker. I wanted to show that the inner struggle a woman goes through when she's faced with, uh, with having to make that choice. Yeah. And you definitely felt that you incorporated so much like on the spectrum of what women think of in regards to like birth and motherhood, like from mm -hmm. the actual abortion to masking it as a miscarriage and then to her even like thinking about what would have happened if like after the birth like the child died in her arms like there's there's so much that you've placed here so why did you want to present each of these things in the way that you did I just I wanted it I wanted to make it as real as possible and as um you know I don't think I've never met a woman who had an abortion who was like, oh, this is so fun. I'm so happy. I enjoyed this. You know, I think mm -hmm. these are really difficult choices for women. But the bottom line is, is, you know, in 2022, women should have should have the option to choose whether they want to carry a child or not. So, you know, I, I felt like you can't just talk about a lot of stories have been told like you know women getting raped or you know getting pregnant after <clears throat> because of incest or or whatever just you know a one night stand i i felt like those stories had are, had already been told or mm -hmm. you know i mean we had there are so many different abortion stories i wanted to focus on i had to focus on one specific one and i was just like this will impact all women you know it, it's not it's going mm -hmm. to impact women who will be forced to carry out a pregnancy when they know that they're going to give birth to a baby that's not going to survive, you know, or that's going to have like, you know, really is going to have problems, you know, even babies who will survive, some of them may have like health issues for the rest of their lives. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, nobody should have the right to decide if that woman, you know, needs to is you know nobody should force a woman to to keep a, a child that she is unable to take care of I mean that to me is is crueler than any abortion could ever be you know yeah no I, I agree with you there and I I just wanted to to touch upon this as well because we're promoting like healthy conversations yeah around this subject matter but how do you is there like certain things that we can touch upon to promote it in like the education system and and to have these conversations across the world, because there's so many different abortion laws everywhere. And we've yeah. seen that and you've studied that. So how can we actually um, promote those conversations? Like, what can we touch upon and, you know, just offer a safe space for people, for women in particularly? Well, you know, I, I think, I mean, for me, it, it really comes down to, you know, abortion rights is 
is a fundamental human right. So mm -hmm. I, I think everybody is, you know, people are not, we have to respect each other's points of view when it comes to abortion rights. For me, the problem starts when, you know, when regulations, laws come in and restrict access to abortions. That's where I feel like um, we can't tell. I mean, I really, I, I, I really believe that if we want women to have equal rights with men, uh, as, as they should, then we cannot, you know, we have to give them bodily autonomy. We can't, that no legislation should ever decide what a woman can or cannot do with her body. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think, I think we need to, to talk from, to speak from the heart. You know, it's not a question of liking abortions, being comfortable with abortions. I absolutely understand that people, you know, have religious issues when it comes to abortions and that's, that's fine. But I do not believe that anyone is allowed to, you know, immerse him or herself into, in someone else's life and decide for that person. You know, I think, I think that's where, you know, for me, that's where I draw the line. But, and I'm, I'm, I can have these conversations with people and I, you know, I understand that we have different points of view. Sorry, I'm just gonna, but, um, but yeah, I just, I just don't believe that bans and, and restrictions are, um, should ever, you know, should ever exist when it comes to abortion rights. Yeah. And, and just going back into the film with everything that you said, um, mm -hmm. I noticed that you paid close attention to the hooks in the back of the truck. And I know that like in like back in the day, there were very unsafe ways to do certain things. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose to incorporate that with like, especially when she was laying down and she was staring directly at the hook above her? I'm just curious. Well, you know, uh, the whole thing with the meat truck and, and, and the hooks, you, you know, I really believe that if we take away these rights from women, mm -hmm. then, you know, that then we, we become almost subhuman. We become, you know, no less, no more valuable than a piece of meat. And, and, you know, and it, it also, you know, it's a metaphor for unsafe abortions are kind of like making a, you know, it's like butchering as well, because it's, it's not how it's, it should be, you know, abortions mm -hmm. should be a safe medical procedure. Um, so, yeah, so for me, you know, it was, it's not, for me, the hooks in the meat truck is, is not like, that's how I see abortions. Mm -hmm. It's more like, that's how I see abortions in a society where we have criminalized abortions and have taken away those rights from women. Yeah, I thought it was a really interesting choice and it did make an impact during that scene specifically. Like you built such great tension as well and the score was great. Everything that you you uh, assembled for that particular scene when you know it didn't go too well, like that really got me. Um, so the Thank structure you. of this is just, it was incredibly well done and I, I'm like looking forward to other people watching it and just having that healthy conversation. So mm -hmm. I wanted to ask, like, what are you hoping that like audiences gain from watching this? Um, you know, I hope, I hope anyone who watches this film is, you know, has compassion um, for the main character's experience and what she goes through and, and what, and what these laws take away from women. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't think that I'm, you know, no film is ever going to change legislation. I don't necessarily believe that, but we have to start these conversations and we have to realize that this is slowly being taken away from us. And we do have to stand up and we do have to say, you know, like even just in the States, like 60% of Americans believe that abortion, that women should have access to safe abortions. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's not true that the majority of, of Americans are anti-abortion. That's not true. It's a misconception that everyone has. So I, you know, I feel like that 60% needs to stand up and we need to say, you know, this is, this shouldn't be happening. What's happening right now. Um, yeah. So the case that went in front of the Supreme court on December 1st, um, which is Dobbs v Jackson health organization clinic. Um, 
is, you know, the Supreme Court is going to give their decision uh, before probably around June or something, 2022, but it's, mm -hmm. it's not looking good for at, at least half the states, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 I heard that too. The, it, the articles come up and it's just like the most unsettling thing to read because you, in a way you do feel powerless because how are you going to even like fight the law at that point? But there's films mm. such as yours that can start that conversation um, and make that impact. And and I really appreciate that. Like it, it's really well done this film. And uh, the last question that I do want to ask you is, is there anything that you've learned about yourself have you changed in any way um while making this film like this journey in making this film well you know i th i think when you it's easy to write something down on paper and then once you start shooting it it's, it's sort of when it's once it starts coming to life then you i think you realize for me i realized the impact that the film was going to have mm -hmm. um and that at first kind of scared me. And then I had to have a moment with myself and say, no, this is, this is why you're making this film. You know what I mean? It's like, um, but you know, I can see how anyone who's had a traumatic experience when it comes to abortions or who, who's uncomfortable with the subject of abortion rights, um, you, you know, it's going to make that person feel uncomfortable. And, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, we ha if we want to have these conversations, I can't sugarcoat the reality. And this is this is what women have been through when abortions were legal, and this is what women are are going to keep going through because the reality is, whether abortion is legal or not, women are still going to get abortions. the The only difference is, are they going to die from those abortions? Are they going to put them themselves at risk, mm -hmm. their families at risk, everyone and everyone around them? So. Um, so yeah, I think it's, I think it's tragic. I think it's really, it's really tragic what's happening right now. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions today, Marianne. I thank you. Thank you for this film as well. And uh, <clears throat> sorry. And I hope you have uh, a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah.